Hello, Virginia here with Jenny Lee Gems. Um, I am working on the diamond stitch for this cute little bee basket. And I've learned a new way to do it. It's just a different placement of the needle. Um, Sherry Zabrowski has told me she knows a different way to do it than I do. And so she shared that with me. And she said, I'm free to demonstrate it along with how to make this lacy medallion pine needle basket. So I'll show you that at another time. But today we're focusing on the diamond stitch. So here is the way that she showed me to do it. Here's one set here and I've got the full on diamond. It's very open, spaced very nicely. I think it looks better up here than here. They're just smaller diamonds and I use the same technique. But um, this is the way that I've done it before. If you could see the inside here. So that's a diamond stitch. This is one of my older baskets. And I just really completed one row of diamonds in here. These aren't complete diamonds. So this is a complete diamond if you check the top and bottom. Um, but this is the Carlson combo here. So that's how the old way I did it looks. Let's see, here's another one. Well, here's the top of the, here's the top of the, the diamond stitch or the bottom if you're looking up here. But um, I use that, which is basically a forward stitch and then going backwards and covering it up. That's great for finishing off a basket. Um, so there's a couple ideas of what my old diamond stitch looked like. And I hope you can see that. So, which is fine. It's a good way of doing it, but I kind of like this better and I was curious about what she was talking about. So, when you are going to create the diamond stitch, you usually go one row just a simple stitch, basic stitch all the way around, and then you back stitch. And some people don't know what that is. So what I pr did previously was when I was creating the diamond stitch, of course you do your regular stitch, but when you're going to create your next row and you've already got this diamond stitch here, I used to go like this. I used to put my needle through this way and come up. and then stitch over. What Sherry does is put her needle through this way, right underneath the stitches and go through to the back. So it does give it a little bit different look. It looks more open, I like it. She also picks up a few pine needles. Now I don't normally do that because I was taught not to go through the needles or not to pierce the needles unless you had to because it could cause breakage. So in creating the diamond stitch Sherry's way, a few times I picked up pine needles, but normally I wouldn't. So at any rate, just to start showing you how to complete her version of the diamond stitch, which I like better. Instead of going this way through the threads, I'm gonna go straight through here, come out through the back. Now you see I've picked up a couple needles, which I don't ordinarily do, but sometimes you can't help it. And then pull it over. And so you're just doing the simple basic stitch. I always look where it comes out on the back. And this is, my basket weaves are pretty tight, so, and pull it over and then up and over. And then instead of going that way, we are gonna go straight through. And it just gives it a little bit more open look. Now see, I am picking up the edge of a needle. So if, if you do it this way, you can decide whether to go through or try it on different baskets, whether to go through the needles at the tip or just pick up the thread. I'm trying to just get the thread. I might skim the needles a little bit. Okay, so I will continue going around this basket with a simple stitch. 
or the basic stitch, and then I'll show you how we back stitch. And the only difference is, again, on this basket, I am entering here with my needle through the top of the stitches, as opposed to going through the side and coming out the other side. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'll get all the way around, and then I will show you how we back stitch. So either way you prefer is fine. I would just say keep up the way that you decide to go so that the stitches are uniform. Um, but I do like the way these open up and I think it'll look really good on the side of this little bee basket because of the design of the honeycomb inside. And I might create a little Carlson combo on the side too. That, that would go good with this. So thanks for watching. I'll show you how to backstitch in the next part of this video. Okay, working on the diamond stitch. We've got a full diamond stitch row here. And then, as you recall, I went all the way around with a simple stitch or basic stitch. Now we're going to use the back stitch. So you just come from the back. That's where your thread ended up. And then you're gonna go up and over. Now, what we're doing differently than the regular diamond stitch, instead of the way I used to go was under the thread sideways like this. Now we are gonna go straight on. So I'll get nice and close so you can see what I'm doing. Straight through the middle here. And then I always check the back to make sure I'm over to the side of that bottom stitch just so it holds it in place. And then I kind of guide it in there so the cross ends up at the top because on our next stitch we're going to come straight through this way okay so up and over come down through the center of those stitches straight on rather than sideways like that so straight on and i make sure i'm over to the side of that stitch pull it through ah if you can get it Man, that one's tight. Okay. So see how it forms? It just looks a little more open. It looks just a little different style. So we'll do one more. So up and over. We're going to go all the way around the basket this way. And I'm going to go straight down through right where we came through before. And I want to make sure I'm on that other side of that. Now see, sometimes I pick up a little bit of needles. So Sherry picks up needles in, according to what I read in her little pamphlet. So see the pattern that it's creating? And to me, it looks a bit different than, here's the bottom of the basket is these diamond stitches. and. It's closer together, but you could see how I hooked up going sideways as opposed to straight into it. So I kind of like this better. At any rate, whichever way you decide to do it, just continue doing it so the pattern looks normal or that it all looks the same, unless you want it different. It's your basket, you could do whatever you want. So here we go, back through again, right in the middle. My, my rows are really tight, so I have a hard time getting it through. And then I'm gonna have to change thread real soon, so I'll just go ahead and go to the end, right back through the middle, the top of that diamond stitch below, come out and I stay on the right side of that stitch just to hold my thread in there. Okay, I need my little clippers here. <laughs> my hands are sore. There we go. and I. There we go, okay? So you see how the pattern's forming. So just do the simple stitch, basic stitch all the way around, either this way if you're left-handed or whatever way you're comfortable with. And then once you get to the end of the simple stitch, turn around and start doing a back stitch. So now when I get all the way complete around here, 
I'll show you what we're going to do next because we're going to end up down here on the bottom row and we want to just put our needle through and come up and start over right here. So there's a little transition there. But I hope you can see that good. That's what it looks like. It's kind of a more of an open to me. That's what it looks like. I like it. And I like it on this basket because it's more of a shape you know, different shape as opposed to just uh, a regular stitch or something. I think it goes well with this honeycomb down in here. So I'll get a little further along and then I will show you the transition um, in case you don't know how to do that. Okay. But basically it's a matter of coming in. If you're doing your diamond stitch, normally I would come right here. And I would go what I would call sideways to go through. And the difference is we're going through the top here. And it just makes it look a little more open. So I'll go ahead and get to the end and then I'll show you the transition if you need to see that. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that helps you decide which way you wanna create your diamond stitch. Uh, whether you want a little more open or, you know, whatever way you want to do it. Or you can do a mix and match, whatever. But I think it would look, it's going to look really good going up the sides. I've seen it up the sides and I'm like, how do they get that like that? It's not, it's much cleaner than the way I was doing it before. So, so now I know and now you know. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I've backstitched all the way around. And the good thing about the back stitches, you don't have to keep adding needles because you're just stitching over the needles that you've already placed. So here is my last stitch. I am going to go right through the middle here. Come out the back. Okay, I've completed this whole row of the diamond stitch with the back stitch. So you end up on the lower row right here. And the way that you get, you wanna be back up here. So you need to be back up at this row right here because you have to start going up and over again and do the basic stitch. And you don't wanna do it from that row because it's going to mess up the pattern. So in case you don't know how to transition up, this is what you do. Let me make sure you could see what I'm doing. So you can go on either side of this stitch, but I kind of like to cross over so that it holds it a little better. If I could hold my needle a little better. So I don't know. It just kind of secures it a little more, I think. And then I like to come up Ooh, tight. I like to come up on this far side of that stitch. Well, I kind of came through it, but that's fine. So come up. I try to come up over on this far side. And I got to use this to pull it through because I just stitched too tight. And my hands hurt. And then there goes my needle off of there. So see, that's totally hidden in there. And you're right where you want to be. So then you're going to turn it back to the front. And then you will start stitching again. I have to thread my needle. We'll start creating the same pattern again. Going through and doing the simple stitch. Maybe if I can get my needle threaded here really quick. There we go. Okay, so you came out right where you want to be, and then you start working your diamond stitch. Straight through the top, I picked up a few needles, which I didn't intend to do, and there's the back. And you just go all the way around again with your simple stitch. And the only difference is we are going through the top 
we're going through the top and the middle right here as opposed to putting your needle through sideways like that. Okay, so I'll continue around. And I think that's it. You should get the diamond stitch after you look at this and you can decide whichever way you wanna do it, whichever look you like better. I think I'm gonna, well, for certain with this basket, I'll keep it up this way that I've been doing it, going through the top, straight through as opposed sideways. So I hope that helps and gives you an idea. You just decide which way you want it to look. This to me opens it up a little bit more. Um, on these, it looked a little more closed. You can see that I went sideways as opposed to right through the center there. So I hope that gives you an idea what's different ways to do the diamond stitch, those two ways. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will post a picture of this basket when it's complete, but it will probably be a while. So thanks again for watching. Hope you learned something.